So we have here a bash script, which is going to grab three random cat images from the cat API. So here is the image with the secret embedded, and here is the original. If you think you see a difference, you don't. This is the file that does have a secret embedded in it. And look, we start to see some differences here, right? Like look at this here, here we have a What's up code crew in this video, we are going to be exploring a technique known as steganography to hide our deepest, darkest secrets inside of cat pictures. Now, steganography is basically where you are hiding something in plain sight. We have seen this plenty of times in movies and TV shows where the rich mafia guy, instead of having his safe or her safe in the corner of the room, it's instead hidden behind a painting on the wall. So we're basically going to be recreating that idea here on the terminal. First thing that we want to do is grab our cat pictures. So here I have a script, which I'll include in the description. Now, my recommendation is that you watch the video first all the way through, and then you go do the steps in the guide. This helps you in two ways, helps both of us in two ways, okay? First, it helps you absorb conceptually what's occurring before you go start hacking. Second thing it does is it helps the YouTube algorithm see that I'm getting view time, which helps me get more chances to create more content like this for you. So please watch the video first, and then you can go take a look at the guides. So we have here a bash script, which is going to grab three random cat images from the cat API. I know, dude, they have an API for everything nowadays, right? Let me go ahead and just copy that. I'll come nano fetch cats dot bash, paste that in, and let's just run it. Boom, looks like I don't have curl installed. So we're gonna go ahead and install that. No big deal, right? sudo apt install curl. All right, let's try running that script again, right? So I'll just press up on my keyboard a few times to get there, bash, fetch cats.shell, save cat image one, save cat image two, fetch three random cat images, awesome. We can list out and we can see the three images here. Looks like one got pulled from Tumblr, <laughs> but all JPEGs, okay. And if you wanna see them, right, you can simply just use your file explorer. And some of my viewers may be like, dude, we know this, why are you telling us? But hey man, I don't, I don't judge, right? So yeah, here's a, here's a cute cat picture number one. <laughs> here's cute cat picture number two. And then here's cute cat picture. Looks like this one didn't get recognized for some reason. No worries, I'm just gonna delete that one and I'll just run my script again, yeah? Let's find some cute cat pictures. All right, let's see what we got. Oh dude, he's, he's intense. He's like super majestic. Let's see, what about this one? Oh, he's so adorable. All right, so now that we've had some fun looking at these cute cats, let's let's get into the real stuff, right? Now, before we get into the fun stuff, I wanna show you like on a real deep level how this image is going to be manipulated, okay? So all data on your computer comes down into bytes or binary. So here we have a tool called XXD, which allows us to view this picture in binary. So let me go ahead and run that on our 3iw.jpg. And here you can see our cat image Image represented in binary okay so notice that there's six bytes per row right so you have six bytes and then you have this in ASCII format here is those six bytes represented in ASCII okay the left hand column is called your file offset but that's like out of scope for this video okay we basically see here the image in binary now you may ask why is that important well let me show you why so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to create our secret message. So we're gonna run an echo, meet me at the litter box at midnight. And I'll put that into secret1.txt. Okay, we can use our cat command to look at the secret. Pretty funny. All right, so there is our secret one. Meet me at the litter box at midnight. Now the machine is not reading it like this, right? The machine is reading it in binary. So we can use our same XXD tool to view the secret. And here is our secret in binary format. So notice that each byte has the eight bits. Each byte has the eight bits, okay? So the idea for hiding our secret message in the cat image is we're going to take, we're going to take a few bits and then put them in here somewhere. And then we're gonna take the next few bits and put them in here somewhere. And then we're gonna take the next few bits and put them in here somewhere. Until all the bits of the secret message or the embedded file have been placed into the cover file. And obviously our Stego tool, when it comes time to extract the message, will have to remember the placement of the bits to successfully extract the original message. 
So now that you understand a little bit about how that works, right? Let's go ahead and grab our steganography tool or our stego tool. This is called steg hide. You probably don't have it on your computer. So you can just simply do a sudo apt install steg hide. Now most Linux tools have a manual that you can take a look at. So we'll just do a man on steg hide. And here you can see steg hide is a steganography program that's able to hide data in various kinds of image and audio files. Features include compression of the embedded data, encryption of the embedded data, and integrity checking using a checksum. The JPEG, BMP, WAVE, and AU file formats are supported for use as the cover file. There's no restrictions on the format of the secret data. Steghide uses a graph theoretic approach to steganography, da 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 da, and you see like, you'll grab the coffee, right, and start reading it. If you want like the TLDR version of that, you can run your steghide again, but just do a dash dash help or a dash H typically will work. If it doesn't work, you'll get a message that says you can run it with a dash dash help, boom. And this is basically the uh, bare bones, the synopsis of how to use the tool. Okay, so you can see that you can embed, you can extract, um, and then here's your embedding options, here's your extracting options, and the really nice help pages will sometimes have examples. So you can see here, to embed m.txt into cover.jpg, run this command. Now before I run that, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to copy our cat image, and I'm gonna call it cat1.jpg, okay? Now notice, if I were to look at the binary of the copy, cat1, so let me xxd on cat1 into the first 20 lines, you can see that the bytes are the same, right? We have a one triple oh one double oh one, one triple oh one double oh one, and you can go through byte by byte, or an easier way is you can look at the ASCII, and you can see like just really quick glancing at it that these two are identical on a binary level. They have the same byte data. Now some of my viewers may be screaming, why don't you just use a hash? Well. That's exactly what we're going to be doing next. So you can see that going through byte by byte to compare whether or not two files are the same is very cumbersome and error prone. So what we can do is we can use a hash on the data. So this is basically going to be like a digital fingerprint of the image. To do that, we have a few options for hashing. There's different algorithms that you can use. Typically, you're gonna wanna use a SHA-256 and then you just run that on your file. And you can see the hash of this file is 836EC, da 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 da, last four are 8069, okay? So if we were to do a SHA-256 on our cat1 image, notice that it is the same hash. While these two have different names, it is the same file. Okay, so now that we've seen all that, let's go back into our steg hide help page. And we see here the example to embed our secret message into the cover file. Okay, right here. So let's run a steg hide embed into our cover file of cat1, our embedded file of secret1.txt. We can even create a passphrase, make it something mysterious, ferocious, and furry. Kitty, kitty. Boom. Uh, it says the file format of the file cat1.jpg is not supported. What you mean? It's .jpg. Mmm. Can't trick it, huh? Can't trick it. I actually noticed when we were looking at the binary that this is a .png. For some reason, it was just renamed to a .jpg. So, you know, you can change the file extension all you want. It doesn't change what the file is, huh? Okay, but no worries, right? We have, we have other cat pictures. So thank you for being adorable, but we have to say goodbye. All right, let me go ahead and open up another one. Let's see what we got. Um. I like this guy. This guy is super cute. In case in case you're you forgot and are wondering why the PNG didn't work, we see here on the manual that uh, PNG file format is not supported. And we saw looking at the bytes that uh, this JPEG is actually a PNG. So no worries though, right? No worries. Let me just clear out. And we're going to use this image instead. It's a M9P3, okay? Let me go ahead and XXD that on the M9. All right, let me pipe this into a head 20. This one should be good, yeah? This is this should be a good cover file. Let me go ahead and copy this, cat1.jpg. Perfect, okay? And then, you know, just to confirm, right? We can take our, our hash on those two images. We have a C122. Go ahead and do the same thing for our cat1 that we just copied, C122, okay? And then um, if you're in the learning process and the terminal seems kind of overwhelming to you, remember you have your file explorer. You can always come here to double check as well, okay? Okay, so now that we have found a supported cat image, let's go ahead and run that command again. So we'll do a steg hide to embed in our cover file of cat1.jpg, our secret1.txt. Go ahead and run that, enter a passphrase, 
kitty kitty and look we even saw like a little flash there did you see it embedding secret one dot text into cat one dot jpeg done so here is the image with the secret embedded and here is the original if you think you see a difference you don't <laughs> they're they're identical right there's no way you can see the difference in these two images now we talked about how the sego tool is taking the bits of the secret message and putting them into some bits on the cover file right so let's go ahead and use our xxd on our original so this is the one that does not have a secret inside of it okay let's come to another terminal here and we'll do an xxd on our cat one this is the file that does have a secret embedded in it and let's see looks like on the first 20 lines there is no difference okay so no worries let's do 40 lines instead and look, we start to see some differences here, right? Like look at this here, here. We have a five here on the original. There's no five here, right? And as a good listener remembers, we don't have to go in looking at it on a byte by byte basis. We can simply use our SHA-256 sum on the original. And here we see the same C122. But when we run it on the cat one image that has the secret file, the hash is indeed different. So now that we have embedded our secret into the cover file, we want to get rid of the secret and not keep it out in plain view. So here, secret1.txt, we will simply remove it and it's gone. The only way to access the original secret1.txt is by extracting it from cat1.jpg. But there's no way to know that the secret message is in there, right? Unless you had the original image, you see? All right, so moving forward, uh, the only way to get back the secret message is by extracting it from cat1.jpg, right? So we're gonna use our steghide tool again. And notice on our steghide help page from before that there is an example to extract embedded data from a stego file or a dash sf. So we'll simply do a steg hide extract stego file of cat1.jpg into the passphrase. Let me put in something wrong. And it says it cannot extract any data with that passphrase. Okay, so let's go ahead and put in the proper password, kitty. And it was successful. Wrote extracted data to secret1.txt. And there it is, secret1.txt. You can go ahead and cat that open. Meet me at the litter box at midnight. And with that, guys, you can see how this is just the, the basic implementation of this, right? You could go a step further and encrypt the data prior to the embedding. You would just use a open SSL for that. Let me know in the comments below if you would like to see a video on that. This is a really simple to implement technique. It obviously can get very complex on the technical side of how everything works, but don't forget to tell all your friends about this channel. Be sure to smash like, subscribe, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.